Hello and welcome. In our upcoming PLR course on Gumroad, we were integrating Gumroad and Printful. And if you look here in the right hand corner, you'll notice that I had to contact Printful support. The problem was using Zapier, I ended up getting this error message and I had to contact Printful support to see how I could work this error out in order to make sure that the platforms were integrated. So the video you're about to see is how not to do it and it walks through the entire process of Zapier. However, there is an alternative that we'll be including in the PLR video course on Gumroad. So make sure you're signed up at the PLRshow.com and get our daily newsletter where I'll share with you the new video. You can do that by downloading our PLR Training Academy. Okay, so with that, thanks and here is the Zapier process. Again, remember, there's a better way to do this, which I'll be showing you in the course. Welcome back. Now, in this video, we're going to start the process of setting up a physical product for sale. And you can connect Gumroad to a fulfillment platform like Printful. Printful will allow you to create certain items that you design and then have shipped to a customer. What we're going to do first is we're going to set up a product on Printful. Now this is not a full-blown tutorial on how to use Printful. We're going to walk through a simple process. We're going to add a product and then we're going to sell that product on our Gumroad account. We're going to add our product to our store. We're going to design a simple product. We're going to design a hat. We're going to set it up and we're going to use a very simple design we're going to add in a logo. We've already uploaded the logo. We're going to place the logo on the ball cap. Once we've done that, we're going to work through the setup process. We're going to give this product a name. We're going to give the product a price and we're going to save the product. Now that our product is set up on Printful, we're going to need to set up a product on Gumroad. So we're going to start with the classic product. We're then going to set the product for sale and we're going to set it so that we are selling one physical product. We're then going to click customize. We're going to need an image for our thumbnail. So we're going to download this image from Printful and we're going to download the other image. We're now going to add our thumbnail. We're now going to add a cover image. We're going to set up our call to action and we're going to write our summary. We're going to add in details. Now in this case we're not going to be delivering files what we're going to do is we're going to set our pricing and we're going to set to collect sales tax. In this case, we're going to have two variants. Now, in order to add the variants, we're going to add a variant. We're going to write in our variant. We're going to give ourselves an option. We're going to give ourselves a second option and we're going to save our changes. So now we have two variants on our product page. What we're now going to do is save our changes. We're now going to customize our checkout page. In this case, we're going to make sure that we have our shipping destinations. We can add in other shipping destinations if we want to have them. In this case, we're going to leave our shipping destination in one country. We're now going to publish our page and we're going to take our product and we're going to publish it on our WordPress site. We're going to copy the embed code to our clipboard. We're going to head to our WordPress site. We're going to embed the code. We're going to update our page. We're now going to preview our page and our Gumroad listing is now on our website. What we now want to do is automate our shipping. We want to use Zapier and we want to connect it to Printful. So we're going to create a Zap. 
and we're going to make it so that that zap is going to be Gumroad and it's going to connect to Printful. We're going to write in Gumroad. Our trigger event is going to be a specific sale. We're going to click continue. We're going to choose our Gumroad account. We're going to click continue. We're going to set up a product. We're going to write in our product and click continue. We're going to test our trigger and we're not going to find a sale so we're going to skip that test. We do have a sample sale. We're now going to click continue. We're now going to connect our Printful account. We're going to write in Printful as the app event. We're going to choose our action event and we're going to create an order with Printful. We're going to click continue. We're now going to connect Printful by signing into our Printful account. We need to get access by going to our store settings to get our API key. And we can see our API key in the left hand menu. Our Printful store is now connected. We're going to click continue. We're going to now set up the action. Now we're going to need to align and map this product with a Printful product. And we can find the Printful product that we have set up here in this area by typing in one of the search words of the generic term. And you can see that the generic term is the one that we see here. And what we're going to do is we're going to then set up a specific variant. You're now going to need a file URL and there is a URL in the mapping process. So we're going to use the product permalink. We're now going to need to add in a quantity as that is a required field. We're going to need to go through the options. We're going to need to search and we find the quantity. We're going to need to have a full name. And we do have one, so we're going to enter that field It's required. The address is going to be required, so we're going to use the address from Gumroad. The city is required, so we're going to use the city from Gumroad. The state code is required, so we're going to use the state code from Gumroad. Country code is required, so we're going to use that from Gumroad. The zip or postal code is required, so we're going to use that from Gumroad. We're now going to click continue. We can now click test and review. In the midst of the mapping process, we were not able to complete a successful test. In troubleshooting the error in Zapier, we were not able to find an error code matching those that are part of the explanation. We were able to reach out to Printful support and support made an effort to resolve the error code.